ciao and welcome to my seventh vlog. Ciao, buongiorno. So when I came home from Italy, I found this, let me show you. I had been away for one week. And I know that sometimes the plants you keep in the winter garden in spring, they just want to go out and they start becoming a bit weak and have yellow leaves. But this, within not even seven days, nah. So I asked my neighbor if we had had a very hot week so that the plants were burned with all the glass around and no fresh air or if it had been a very cold week with frost in the night and he confirmed the leather. So after all this winter that we had had at the end of April those plants are somehow partially dead which drives me crazy it makes me so sad but I couldn't just work on it up to now even if it's not not even a whole week I'm back but in those last days I had several meetings and appointments and had stuff to do and it was constantly raining and it doesn't make sense to work in that narrow space here I need space to treat them so as today is the only day in the whole week when it's not raining according to the weather forecast it's cloudy but it's forecasted not to rain I will do what I had planned already before but I couldn't do so I will empty this whole winter garden prep up this area there as um, my outer terrace under the gazebo make out of this winter garden my lounge area again table and seats are there I need this carpet under there and then take out all of those plants, put them in their place and then start working on them to find out what I can do to save them. Look at this. This orange tree is still blooming. This amaryllis, which is supposed to bloom around Christmas, is blooming now. But even the aloe vera doesn't look very healthy. So let's start this. First of all I open up everything. These are the things that I already prepared for my daughter. And that I brought from Italy for her. So it's rosemary, some mint from our garden in Italy. Where this is the mint of my mother who died 24 years ago. But it's still growing and growing, it's perfect. 
and it smells so good. Basil and sage. And a eucalyptus. Last night, I had to take it up again and bring it to the other side of the river and the other side, side of the main street and release the mouse that was caught in there. I called it... All, all the mice that I catch are called Eduardo. And I guess yesterday was number 17, so... Edward the Seventeenth. comes back in. First I have to clean and the table and the seats go there. So I have to keep that path open. This is wine. Grape whatever the plant is called and it was such a big plant oh. and it was behind that garden house there and it was overgrowing the others and overgrown by the others so I took it out and put it here and it didn't give any sign of life up to now but this definitely is a sign of life. So yeah, waiting to have it running around the whole gazebo. Yay! however you call it and in the last years it was always standing close to one leg of the gazebo and I had it all rammed up around it but it's it's a mess wrapping it around and then in autumn taking it down again and you see make these circles but I did it but this last autumn I thought I put the grape there so I'm not sure what I'm doing with it but apparently part of a few dry leaves it's happy this is the lantana it's one of my favorite plants but somehow is not dead, but very angry with me. The two avocados I just gave the other one to my daughter. There is a sign of life still, but let's see what I can do.
Good. First step is done. Look what I have found. A black tulip. Isn't that beautiful? Still in the cleaning process. Water is good question. There are two possible spaces. One is here. Yes. This is done and now I will hoover the carpet in the winter garden that remains in there. Yes, 
I like. So then, time to take care of the plants. So this is the next step. That, I'm hungry. I'm getting hangry. I love that. So, and that there doesn't look like no rain. So, I go and make a sandwich, eat it, coffee, and then if it really doesn't rain, start with the plants. At least now they, they are in a better place. So lunch, and then I'll come back. Sandwich prepared. And in that moment the sun is shining, so I'm sitting in my newly arranged winter garden with my sandwich and have lunch. Meanwhile gathering two, three freckles on my nose. Look at who is singing. It's really sad. I'm not sure if any of that will come back. But I will try. Number one, as sad as it is, but it's done. So then, I can put there, I'm thinking of keeping it in the winter garden. There you go. What do you think? Beautiful? Yes. This one doesn't look that healthy, but it is green here and green there. And its place was anyhow there, so I'm gonna put it there and pray. Oh, and pray. What do I do with this aloe? I guess this one where it's just Ugh, sticky. Those ones who it's so fascinating, huh? Let's see what we can do here. Next one.
I don't know where to start here. go and then we'll check this young man old man Then, what about you? Okay. This really breaks my heart. It took me years to get those avocados. And I tried. I know how to do it. But um, I never had a, a, a real success. Maybe the, the little stones made some some roots but then when I planted them it wasn't successful so I one year a few years ago in autumn I found five or six avocado trees that size on the growing from the compost because of course the, the stones from the avocados I put them in the compost and there they had grown when you don't expect it they do it So I took them out gently and put them in, in soil and took care of them and three of them survived. Those two and one that I gave my daughter when she was here three weeks ago and she brought it home and it was still cold so she put her avocado in the house and plants at a certain point don't want to be inside they complain being in the winter garden imagine being in in a flat so um, 
it doesn't look very happy. It's half brownish, half green. So now she put it on the balcony and we hope that it comes back. And the same here. So let's hope it works. Getting closer. Getting there. I guess I'll try to not cut it. Let's see if it comes back. Then, this young lady, passion fruit, flower, bloom, whatever plant. So, if I put that. Lantana. Look at this baby here. Such a delicate plant, has been outside in winter all the time and now it's ready to bloom. My harsh cuts. Somehow it reminds me of crocheting or because of course the, the few ones that are alive I don't want to kill and cut but sometimes they are green below and then the top is is brown so at a certain point you just give up and give it a cut. The birds.
Cheers. Okay. Let's have a look. Yes. And now to the so-called finishing touches. So this is the view from the winter garden and all the poor plants that we are trying to save and some more and the winter garden itself just imagine there's no hoover so last thing to do is to water the plants It would be nice now. But yeah. I'm excited. So happy. Everything is beautiful and clean and part of the windows. And the whole garden which has to be worked on again, but one step after the other. But I'm happy that at least now this big task is done. 
Yay. And this is my view now. It's so beautiful. Thank you for spending your time watching me work. If you like the video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And in any case, be kind.